I just wanted uh, to mention that I realized that <laughs> you probably need some support to your ankles in that V position. Yeah. And uh, there's a way to give ankle support for those that want to keep their legs up for a half an hour. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, gravity is going to work uh, against you in uh, being able to uh, fill your legs with that blood. But a lot of it's going to end up in your female parts. Mm -hmm. And it could cause you to be able to visualize. Mm -hmm. So you'd have to have uh, some ankle supports approximately the length of your leg. Mm -hmm. I don't think that there's many women that can actually keep their feet up for a half an hour unless you have incredible stomach muscles. There are some anatomical differences between men and women. <laughs> some women have a large amount of weight on their chest. Yes. And that causes their breasts to be on the left and right side of their chest when laying prostrate. Yeah. <laughs> now, if you wanted to find out the effect of visualization, there could be some creativity. Yeah some imagination mm -hmm. and some productivity improvements because of a half an hour of visualization. Mm. I'd like to find out if there's any effect on the productivity of those that are women in corporate America. We need to stop looking at men and women as being um, the same. Yeah, we are equal, right, but we are anatomically different. A chair doesn't really uh, allow for the expelling of any gases in the uterus of women. Mm. Now, obviously, uh, I consider what would it look like walking through an office with a hundred individuals having their feet towards the ceiling. I can visualize the effect of seeing that. <laughs> and for those of you that thought, oh, he's just trying to what? <clears throat> You know, sitting uh, cross-legged, yes, could be of advantage to those that have to sit there for 20 or 30 years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It might be something to consider. Yeah. Now, uh, they have what's known as the U.S. Constitution. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> something that uh, a lot of people say that you don't have to enforce. Yeah. Now, the 13th Amendment abolished slavery, and the 14th Amendment gave the rights of citizenship uh, to the former slaves, and that included due process, mm -hmm. the clause that prevents states from taking away a person's life, liberty, or property without due process of law. Yeah. Now, it's been my experience for the last eight years that this county and this state doesn't recognize any guaranteed rights. Well, you said I was crazy. My wife... Uh, abducted my sons and kidnapped them. Mm -hmm. You issued court orders where I was not given any due process. Yeah. You took away my life, liberty, and property without any notice or opportunity to be heard. Mm -hmm. Can you visualize what that looks like? Well, it looks like issuing protection orders where you said that I could have a mental health evaluation and treatment if recommended. Mm -hmm without any jurisdiction or authority of law. Mm. Mm. Are you going to remove your fraud today? Mm. Now, this violating of the 14th Amendment, where you issued a dissolution of marriage, where I didn't get any notice of court hearings? Yeah. I didn't get a dissolution of marriage. No. You didn't have the jurisdiction of the United Nations? No. Mm -hmm. And then there are those fake arrests where I gave you the evidence I wasn't in Squim, Washington at 4.48 p.m. Yeah. And uh, you had the bus surveillance camera footage that I wasn't there at 7.47 a.m. Mm -hmm. And then there's the videos I made on June 16th of 2017. You know, um, I think there's some real corruption problems with your bagging system where... This county said what we're doing is more important than the enforcement of the guaranteed rights of the Constitution. The way that I visualized it is that I'm going to imprison millions of employees of the United States government. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take your assets. Now today, yeah, I'm going to want my sons and I'm going to want you to remove all your fraud. Mm -hmm. And then, as I've explained, I'm going to sue, yes, for trying any individual under the age of 18, regardless of how serious the crime is. Yeah. 
and then I'm going to sue for the removal of your hard-nosed judicial system that will take into consideration the maturing of men and women, yes, when trying them for any crime that they were involved in. Yeah. Now, I really don't have any uh, grace. Yeah. For those over the age of 25, you should have been mature. Yeah. You should have realized as adults what you were doing. Yes. And you should be prosecuted to the full extent of the laws. I want you to remove all your fraud today. The availability of being able to visualize is not crazy. Mm -hmm. It took a lot of study on my part to be able to understand, yes, what I wanted my person to do because of me visualizing what I wanted my mind to do. <laughs> now, it looks like you haven't been using your brains. I'm going to want to use the courts of the United States. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to want to sue and have prosecuted your top secret bagging family. Yeah, that thought you just bagged.